today in the home wine making channel i'm going to show you what i think is the easiest way to clean a really grimy carboy if you like home wine making videos make sure to click subscribe below and click the bell to be notified for future videos now obviously the best thing to do is going to be to clean your carboys before they ever get that bad which is really very simple so when you're done using them before everything dries and cakes on I'll usually just give it a good rinse, like three rinses. And that last rinse, I'll hit it with some star sand, which is my favorite sanitizer, although it's not exactly the best at cleaning out the gunk and grime out of a carboy. Now, sometimes it's out of your control. If you find some free carboys on the side of the road, like my mom did, thanks mom, uh, they might be sort of gross. That one there you can see is just completely stained on the side. It probably was just neglected for years and years. It had a dead mouse in it, so obviously pretty gross. The classic thing you would obviously probably do if you were going to clean a carboy would start with just soaking it with some sort of cleaning solution with the, one of the best choices just being your, your dish soap, like Dawn dish soap, which is a really nice degreaser. So. I will start with that, but when I use the method that I'm gonna use, you'll see that you don't really have to soak it as much as you might normally think you have to. Another thing that's kind of the classic cleaning instrument would be these bottle brushes, or carboy brushes actually. So this one's got this 90 degree bend on it, and it kind of helps get down in there, but if you look at what I'm dealing with here, this thing is pretty like almost stained. I think we're really even still gonna have a little bit of a struggle just using this carboy brush. Now I've used some more obscure things in the past like there are these little stainless steel ball bearings. You swirl them around in there and again they work okay but they, they leave a little bit to be desired. So let's go ahead and we'll get these things soaking. I'll probably soak them for like a half hour, just enough to soften up anything that's kind of dry on the walls of these carboys. So here's the nastier of the two. I'm just gonna give it a quick rinse on the outside and then we'll uh, get to the inside. This is a hot water hose really nice to have for cleaning wine stuff. Actually, before I put any soap in here, I'm just gonna give it a quick hot water hose. You can see some of this is physically dirt almost on the inside of here. So we'll try to get most of that loose stuff out of there. Give it a little shake. And dump it in my kind of junk sink here. One more quick little rinse. Now I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more and we'll put some of this Dawn dish soap in there. I'm not even gonna fill it all the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little Soap, I'll give it a little bit of a shake to try to just work at this a little bit, this especially gross section. I'll probably give it a couple shakes over the span of a half hour here, and then we'll go at it with our special technique. While we're waiting, I'll tell you about my special carboy cleaning method. And this is one of those cordless drill operated carboy brushes. And there's a handful of these. You can find them on most of the brew shops. Um, this one I got off of Amazon. They range from about 20 bucks up to about 30 bucks. And if you're gonna get a bunch of used dirty carboys, I'd definitely recommend having one of these things. 
Now let's go ahead and it's been about, I know I said I wanted to wait 30 minutes. It's been about five minutes. Let's go see if we can get these carboys super clean. So this is the dirtier of the two carboys here. You can see it's really kind of stained here. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to clean than that one. There, I've given these both kind of a couple swirls to dissipate that soap. And then we'll go ahead and we'll stick our fancy cleaner tool in. And I think the easiest thing to do here is to point both of these things downwards and just press it in through the top, kind of using that um, metal rod to help. And that kind of also seemed to help separate the two uh, paddles nicely. So we'll try to get it spinning. There we go. You can kind of angle it towards the dirtiest areas to get a good scrub. If I have any gripes about this tool is that sometimes the paddles don't perfectly flip out like they should, perfectly opposite of each other. But otherwise, I mean, this thing is, I would say, pretty darn close to clean here. Looks like that's actually on the outside. So yeah, I'd say this thing's pretty clean. Now what I'll do is I'll just rinse out the soap and give it a quick star sand rinse and um, I think this carboy is going to be salvageable. These carboys came out looking great after the uh, rinse. Got a little water on myself. A couple more notes about cleaning though. Just always make sure to dry a carboy. So having um, something to store it upside down like a carboy dryer or a homemade carboy dryer. It's really helpful so you don't get any mold or anything in these carboys. As far as off-the-shelf cleaners go. There's a few common options for home winemakers and home brewers. First one being Star Sand. It's basically a sanitizer. The other ones will be your One Step or there's something called Be Bright. Those are going to be more of your oxidative cleaners. Usually they have something called sodium percarbonate in it, which is the main ingredient of OxyClean, which you could actually use OxyClean if you want. You just want to rinse it good. And sodium percarbonate, when added to water, makes hydrogen peroxide and sodium carbonate, also known as baking soda. So that works as a really good cleaner too. It's not going to take off the stuff we just took off today, but it'll clean a kind of nasty looking carboy. You just want to make sure you rinse that one in particular really well because hydrogen peroxide being such an oxidizer is not something you really want to add to a wine or of course it can oxidize your wine. It can blow away your sulfites and it's just not something you want to do. If you've got any methods of cleaning a carboy that you think are uh, maybe more effective than this or easier, share in the comments below. I always like to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.